Hey guys, what's up? So I want to do a little short video of uh, a few of the teas. Well, you can see my cobalt blue have emerged from her burrow. Uh, you can see the blueness of her legs. Awesome species, but pet hole. Um, I will one day have to open up that uh, coconut hut and see how my uh, P. marinus is doing in here. I have some webs from my uh, P. miranda. Probably most likely going to be molting very soon. Uh, it's been about oh six months since she last molted. But the highlight of this video, well, not only my uh, T. blondie, but I finally got my Versicolor out. And uh, she's actually webbing her enclosure as we speak. So you can see her plump red abdomen. And that's awesome. Let me try to um, do my best and open up the cage so you can actually get to see what a navy clear versicolor looks like. Uh, this I bought her about a year, two years ago as a three inch female. And uh, now she's five inches. Yeah, look at this. Look at that abdomen. Very, very healthy specimen. So I named her Tetra um, from the uh, Zelda Wind Waker. Yeah, she kind of looks like a Tetra to me. Very, very nice specimen. This is probably the Vicolera I would not handle because uh, she's pretty defensive. And, uh, yeah, it's webbing a lot. Yeah, very cool avic. So I thought I'd give you a little video of her since she's usually never out. She's usually in that uh, PCV pipe. So uh, here's her enclosure. It's, um, it's a bit too large, but it's still okay. It's just an ordinary five gallon tank, as you see. Right here for my G pull cart tank and my B Smithy. All I did was literally turn it upside down, got a little plexiglass to cover up the substrate from falling, and have a little water dish. Yeah, here's a little shot of her. I'll just show you how defensive that she can be. So I'll just touch her in the abdomen, just like how I do with other teas. And <laughs> Now you know why I don't have my versi color. So, that's about it. Hope you enjoy this video. Peace, guys.